Hi guys! So today is my little Sammy. He is my Issel Mayo and he is just so darn cute. He has this really grumpy stroppy little face. It's just it's just really cute. I need to get more Issels at some point. Um, I quite like to get the Nico Nico Mayo one because he looks quite similar to Sammy. I don't like the ones that are like have loads of makeup and stuff on and really over the top face up. I prefer something that looks like he is actually a little boy. Um, so yeah. But he's just really cute and cool. Um, so Sammy arrived home on the 28th of March 2013. Um, he, in my mind, is a little boy of about, probably about 9, 10, something like that. So he's quite still like little boy -y. He isn't getting into that annoying half-grown-up kind of teenager -y stage just yet. Um, he's wearing today a little t-shirt that I made for him myself. My other half actually did the robot design. It's really cool. Um, and he's got on some Barbie jeans at the moment. I have kind of figured out how to make Issel jeans. I have the pattern sorted and everything. It's just another one of those things that's on my list of things to do at some point. Um, is to make him some jeans. But for now I think he looks perfectly happy in these ones and then he's got these little trainer things on as well I got these off eBay and I actually originally bought them for Casey and then they ended up on Sam instead um, I don't know whether to keep these on him or give them back to Casey or whether to get him I was thinking of getting him some like pale blue ones or some yellow ones or something like that but these ones do the trick perfectly well for the time being um, and then he has this amazing crocheted hat which has got like a kind of weird yeti thing on or abominable snowman thing or I don't really know what it is but I just thought it was really cool and I thought it looked really cool on him um, it was kind of inspired by um, somebody who has an Issel Mayo on the Dolly Market forum who wears a really cool hat as well and I just thought it was quite funny and quite fitting and kind of makes his miserable little face look kind of quite cute and amusing when he's got like a really weird hat on as well so yeah he loves his hat um, I really would like at some point to get a proper wardrobe up together for Sam because he only really has these clothes and they are just things that kind of got thrown on him so that he wasn't sitting around naked because his I don't really like his stock for him um, it's a bit I don't know the jeans I didn't like anyway because they've kind of got like um they do up at the front so if he sits down you can see a gap at the front of his jeans which is just weird isn't it no one wants that he was embarrassed so he didn't have to wear those anymore um, and the t-shirts are just a little bit grown up in design I think so they don't really suit my character for him he um, has been re-wigged and re-chipped um, so he's got on, I'm going to take his hat off now so he's probably going to have major hat hair going on so excuse if he looks a bit weird <laughs> he does, it's like sticking up on one side and flat on the other so yeah, he has been re-wigged in a fur wig really didn't like his stock wig it was not um, not great, and then he's been rechipped with some green coloured glass cabochon chips. Sammy is actually Jake's little brother. Um, Jake is over here, so they have the same wig and eye chips. Exactly the same wig, just bought in different sizes and exactly the same eye chips. So they look like I said before. When I have dolls that are siblings, I like for them to look as similar as possible. And I have actually cut out a t-shirt for him that's got the same scullies on as Jake's t-shirt here has got as well. Um, so I have to get and actually sew that together at some point so they can wear like matching t-shirts. Because my idea is that Sammy kind of looks up to Jake as his older brother and they're like they have a really close relationship. So he kind of likes to copy him a little bit in what he wears and how he styles himself. Um, uh, I don't really know what else I can say about him to be honest other than the fact that he's really really cute and if you don't have an Issel and you're tempted to get one I do recommend it because their little faces just really appeal to you um, looking all kind of grumpy and cute and I think they make for quite an interesting addition to a doll family in that you can have like, like the little brother element because um, you get the little sister element with Dal, and um, so you can now get the little brother element with Issel as well, and I think it's really cool. Um, a lot of people actually seem to style their Issels like girls, um, which I don't know. When I when they first came out, I was a bit like, they look really feminine. Don't really want one of those. Um, it's not going to look very like a little boy. 
but now when I see one styled as a girl I kind of think that looks weird because to me it's a boy but it looks like a girl there but then when they're styled as boys they look kind of feminine it's weird I don't really know I don't really know how it works but anyway so yeah this is my little guy Sam he is gonna have a little friend at some point because he's just too cute not to have a little friend and he needs to be finished off when it comes to his clothes and his styling and everything but this is how he is for now so I hope you guys have enjoyed watching today I think you should all go out and buy an Issel now especially Mayo because he's very cute and I will see you again next week bye bye